good morning you guys welcome back to a new video or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here i did not get any aesthetic clips this morning because <laughs> i had a brutal rude awakening this morning by a low blood sugar basically i'm currently taking a steroid for the mouth issue that i've been having which is slowly getting better if you're wondering um but that like messes with my blood sugar and pretty much just like makes me really insulin resistant and just like makes my blood sugars really high and i woke up and was just so frustrated because i had been high all night long and my high blood sugar alerts like didn't wake me up so i was like oh my god this is so annoying insulin's like not bringing me down so i took a disgusting rage bolus which don't do never goes well and paid the price and had a pretty bad low blood sugar bright and early but at least i got to have some morning juice i don't know if you just heard that squeak but <laughs> i'll explain that in a sec um but i also want to show you guys my little outfit because it's new also my skin is like really bad i'm still waiting for my new skincare that i ordered to come in the mail but it's not the best right now also my hair is so greasy but i'm on like day four and i'm like I just need to go one more day because I want to wash it tomorrow for the Friendsgiving I'm going to. So I'm like, I just need to wait one more day. Can I do it? We'll see. I just got this little like light yellow set from Aloe in the mail and it's really, really cute. I'm obsessed with it. I will say like the top and the bottom are like a slightly different color, but I still really like it. I finally ordered like a couple new workout things and I'm glad I did it because I've been like wanting to. I'll link it down below. I really like the top, but let me explain the squeak. <laughs> so if you guys already follow me on Instagram, <laughs> he would have already seen, but this is Augie. I have had him for like a month or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, that's all. Wow, I can finally like show my apartment. You guys kind of already knew. Um, you're good. Like there would be like a split second of the gate in the background and you guys like picked up on it. And the dog ornament you guys picked up on. I honestly like, I thought about that when I put that up, but I was like, oh, like Arlo, they're gonna think it's Arlo. No, you guys were fully like, oh my gosh, you got a dog. I did. Um, he, just some general questions I've gotten is what breed is he? Italian Greyhound. Just like my family dog. What other questions? How old is he? He's a little bit over three months. Um, I got him pretty young. Like I think I got, my family got Arlo when he was like about four months, I think. Maybe he was like three months. Got Augie a little bit younger. <laughs> He's so cute. What other questions? Oh, a lot of people were like, why did you keep him a secret? Um, because there's a few reasons why. The biggest thing is like, I just, wanted something for myself and like even just the fact that people were like okay but why would you keep it a secret it's like well it's just that I like didn't show it online like I chose to keep something for myself for a while and it's like a really fun and exciting thing and I knew people would have things to say that would just like be negative or like just like hate because people hate on everything and so I like waited until I was just like prepared for like whatever hate or whatever that I got or just like negative comments that I got. And also I wanted to make sure that I had like a happy, healthy puppy and I do. So he's amazing. He's a puppy for sure. He's a crazy little guy. He took a nice tinkle on my white couch last night. <laughs> He's like actually really awesome and well, yeah, I'm not like gonna do a whole like video on him or anything like that, but I have a dog and he is an emotional support animal and I am not sure if his breed is capable, but something that I might look into, maybe, I'm not 100% sure, but something that I might look into is um, having him trained as a blood sugar alert dog. This is all the stuff I used to have to cut out of my videos. And honestly, I was like, I had no plans of like how or when I was gonna like bring him online, like show people that I had a dog. And I wasn't even sure that I was going to at all. 
but it the reason I decided to was because I was getting so frustrated because I had to cut out so many things from my vlog or if not I had to like repeat what I said like 17 times while filming and there was just a lot <laughs> I was just like this is stupid like they, they already know they're gonna find out eventually whatever and then I thought about like not even like saying anything about it or like stop cutting him out of the videos I was like Ugh, they're gonna like be so curious. I was going to the shelter like almost every day Like I really thought I wanted a dog, but I was like, I'm not gonna do it right now Like I don't want to put that stress on myself. I don't know. Just the more I sat on it the more I was like I Am alone in my apartment all the time and when I'm alone in my apartment all I do is try to find something wrong with my health and I was like maybe having the distraction of like all the work of a puppy is like what I need and I was exactly right like obviously i still have health anxiety but it's like not to the same extreme at least since i got him who knows like if it'll pick back up or whatever but like i'm just so focused on him all the time and like making sure he's good and doing all the things that come along with a puppy and so yeah i'm just like i've just been enjoying him and how much work he is um but he's a really good puppy and I, the only thing is like, he needs to go on walks so bad. He needs to go on walks. He's like, has so much energy that he can't get rid of, but he's not fully vaccinated yet, but he will be soon um, within the next month or so. So I'm excited to be able to like take him on walks and everything. But that's that. My only like thing that I'm like, ugh, so frustrated about is he gets really car sick and I want to be able to take him everywhere with me, but the poor thing gets so sick in the car. So if you guys have any remedies for that my vet recommended you can literally just give dogs dramamine and that makes me nervous so let me know if you guys have any experience giving dogs dramamine or if that's like not good or what i can do um it does help i think when i don't feed him like the other day i took him to the vet to get some vaccines he did super good on the way there wasn't even like showing any signs of nausea and then the way home he was and I hadn't fed him in a while on purpose when I went there and I think maybe they gave him food or like treats in the vet. I gotta play with him. <laughs> He's having his morning burst of energy but just wanted to address the elephant in the room and oh my goodness, you are crazy right now. And yeah, get the day going. It's 9 a.m. right now. I woke up kind of early, well earlier than I have been. And, um, oh my god, I gotta get a toy, hold on. This is all the stuff I was cutting out. But anyways, this is my new outfit and I really love it. And yeah, maybe I'll give you a better look whenever he goes down for a nap next and I start my workout, but so cute, I love. Wait, let me get a little close up of Mr. Augie. He loves the sun and it's so funny because I know he's the same breed as Arlo, but he just acts so much like Arlo. Like he loves the sun. The way he plays is a lot like puppy Arlo. He's like obsessed with food, which is like very Arlo. And just like the way he cuddles and everything is like so Arlo, which is like, I'm just happy because that's like what I was hoping for. But he's also a little devil sometimes, huh? Saying, no, I'm not a devil, I'm just a puppy. Oh, you like the camera? You're not used to having that pointed at you. Come here, puppy. Come here, Alex. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Angel. Oh, there's my sweet boy. And this is why Italian Greyhounds are the best because they can never be close enough to you. I just finished up my workout. My hair is so scary right now, but I really liked this set. Like I really liked working out in it. Um, but I'm gonna have my two Brazil nuts of the day. I heard that they're really high in selenium and really good for your thyroid. So I was like, why not? <laughs> I'll add some nuts into my diet. They taste so good. I know you're not, or I've heard you're not supposed to have like too many of them, but I could sit here and eat this whole bag. And they taste so yummy. I'm about to go and get ready for the day. I'm still debating on if I should wash my hair or not because it needs to be washed, but I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. So I could wash it and just not style it or I could just keep it up today. And honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards that. I might take a shower and shave and everything and then do something like 
style my hair in some way where it can be like up because I just really don't want to have to wash it so close together. So that's the plan. And then I'll show you guys. I think I'm gonna wear my other little aloe outfit that I got. So I'll show you guys that. But this is 100% approved by me. And I'm pretty picky, especially with leggings, especially when I cycle. And I was worried because these are, I'm so used to a line, which are like very butter-like and these are a little bit more like structured sort of. But like they remind me of uh, Lululemon Wonder Unders. I don't even know if those are still a thing, but they used to be really popular. And I really loved those, but they would always fall. And I don't find that these do, but they like kind of fit like Wonder Unders. So I really like them for working out. Super cute. I'm obsessed with this color too. I think it's funny because I think it's a new color. So it's interesting that they brought it out right now. I feel like this would be more of like a summer spring color, but no complaints because I personally love it and it makes me feel more tan than I am. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna go shower, get ready for the day. From one workout set to the next. <laughs> but this one is my outfit for today. I low key stained the sports bra and shorts when I was getting when I was getting dressed because I had just put body oil on and that body oil I haven't had any issues with it staining anything so I thought it'd be fine but I think because I put these on like right when I put it on the oil just got all over but it's like it comes out with water but I like really got it good in some spots but whatever it's like the color too like the color and the material just like was asking to get stained by the oil. So that's super, but it's not stained. Like when I put water on it, it comes off, if that makes sense. But like you can, it's like not, I have to wash it. If you get it. But um, this entire set, including the little cardigan is from Aloe. I'll obviously link everything. The only complaint I have is that these shorts come up a little bit higher. Like I wish they ended maybe like right there-ish, just for like flattering purposes on my body, but the aligns come up this high as well. And I feel like these are more flattering than the aligns. So in that case, it's a win. And I really like the material because they are tight, but not like restrictive. But also I feel like they're like 1% like maybe more flattering than aligns, align shorts. So I, I don't know, a win is a win. <laughs> I love them. I'm just like being picky, but they're this really cute. Can you even tell it's like a chocolate brown color? Love and then just the matching sports bra. I took the pads out because the pads were weird and then the back is just like a normal racer back like you can't I can't tell. It's like literally just a normal racer back bra like the Nike Pro. What are they called? The Nike bras everyone wears. Same style. And then this little cutie cardigan, I just have it buttoned once, and it's actually cold out again today. I think it's like 50 degrees. Oh, and I'm wearing my Aritzia base ankle, base crew. You would think I would know by now. I don't know if it's base or crew. I think it's, I mean, I don't know if it's ankle or crew. I'm pretty sure it's ankle, because these are crew socks, so I'm always like confused why they're called ankle socks, but it's because they have, wait, hold on, no. <laughs> They're called base ankle socks because they have like taller socks that they call crew socks. I call these crew socks, but they have ones that come up slightly higher that they call crew socks. So these are ankle socks, but to me, ankle socks are like right here. I don't know. Apparently everyone has their own definition of ankle socks. Oh, and then I just have this MEJ clip in my hair. This is actually my first clip from MEJ because I've, I was never like, I was, I don't know, I would just get clips from like Walmart or Target or whatever. No, I really like these clips. Like, especially with my hair getting so long. And I don't have thick hair, but I just feel like no clip holds all my hair in. And this one does. Granted, my hair is like very dirty, and so everything's just kind of like staying where it's supposed to. What I was saying though is since it's rather chilly out, I honestly feel like if I go outside, which I'm going to probably grab a coffee. Oh, I have to actually run an errand. I have to go get my little piercing put back in. I had to take out my tragus whenever I got my MRI and I can't get it back in. So I'm gonna go to a piercer. And actually I've been wanting, I literally, I've had, I never changed that. I got it when I was 16 and it was silver. It's the only silver jewelry I still wear. And I've been wanting to get it changed to something gold. So I'm gonna see if I can. But anyways, if I do go out, I probably will throw on this little 
sweater over. I feel like that's so cute. I'd probably wear it like this. Like I feel like it's just like mismatching a bunch of neutral colors, which I think is cute. Um, but it's just about lunchtime. Actually, it is lunchtime. It's like 12:30, so I'm gonna feed doggy and then I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I, you guys, you know how I like make my salad dressing? I don't know if maybe I'm putting like too much vinegar in it, but like my my tongue is like burnt. <laughs> And I think it's like from the acidity of the vinegar because I also have like a canker sore. What is going on in my mouth? <laughs> I have so many issues and it's not even like, I don't even understand. It's like all weird, like random stuff that's like all happening at once. But also my thumb is still so dry. Guys, what is happening? Crate reveal. <laughs> uh, this is like the baby gate you guys have been seeing but Mr. Augie Man's eating his food. Wow, it feels so nice to be able to freely vlog in this apartment again. <laughs> I've been like having to set up the weirdest dang angles. All for you, Mr. Augie Man. Okay, what do I want to eat? Ooh, okay, I, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say I could make a little sandwich, but I fully ate my turkey meat last night. Okay, how was your lunch, sir? Do you want to come say hi to the camera? Hi, Mr. Augie Man. I love you. You're so cutie, Mr. Oggy Man. I love you. Oh, the big greyhound stretch. Okay, let's make this salad. Actually, I just thought, let's make this salad together because I get so many questions about how I make my salads, how I make my dressings, everything like that. So, let's do it together. So, I'm gonna start with a base of kale. All right, next I'm gonna add some nuts. I'm gonna do these almonds. Almonds are another food that I didn't like when I was younger and now I'm obsessed with. So weird how taste buds change. I definitely just had, don't they say like your taste buds change like every seven years? I definitely just had a taste bud change like recently, like goat cheese, fish, so many different things. Like I love that I used to hate you guys. Salmon is my favorite food in the whole world. Do you know what my least favorite food in the whole world used to be? Salmon. My mom eats it all the time, and when she would cook it, I would get disgusted, like just by the smell of salmon. I'd be like, ew, and I'd get so mad. I'd come home from dance, and like she had, had made salmon for lunch, and I mean for dinner, and I was just like, ew, like I was so mad that I came home and it smelled like fish. And now it's my favorite food, the irony. Alexa, how many carbs and 51 grams of carrot? Okay, did I already say I'm, I added carrots in there? And then I'm gonna do some cukes. Honestly, you guys, like what I do is I just put all the veggies I buy in a salad. And this is like my favorite way to actually use up my veggies because I find like, I always would get a bunch of veggies and be like, oh, I'll snack on the veggies I buy. And then I never do. Cucumbers sometimes, but like the only way my veggies actually, <laughs> Aki, <laughs> he's sitting on the top of the couch like by the windows, he can't fall, don't worry. But I like the only way I actually get rid of all my veggies is if I make salads and even like leftover cooked veggies, they get eaten more if I put them in salad versus just like eat them. Alexa, how many carbs? <laughs> Ew. I didn't quite get that. Sorry. How many carbs in what? Sorry, a fruit fly flew into my lunch. I'm going with one small tomato because I want them eaten, but I don't want them. <laughs> Gonna thinly slice just a teeny bit of onion. Also, I get so lazy. I don't even peel the onion. I just cut it and then like, just, it flakes off that way. And then I'm gonna add um, this smoked apple chardonnay chicken sausage. I'm obviously gonna heat this up. These are fully cooked, but um, I like to heat them up. And I also feel like if I heat them up and then like mix them in with like, like once they're warm, I put them in the salad. And then like whenever you microwave these, there's like a little bit of juice at the bottom of the plate. I like add in the juice to the salad because I think it like adds like a nice, a little bit of a nice flavor. I almost just cut my finger off. I love chicken sausage. It's like one of my faves. So easy too, like a nice easy protein. Now for the cheese. I just add in like a fat chunk of goat cheese. Goat cheese fanatic over here. I cannot get enough of it. But I like to put it in before I mix the salad like with the dressing because I find that the cheese mixes in 
it sort of like adds to the dressing. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some of these pistachio pomegranate crisps on top. I'm gonna be a little bit gentle with these because there is dried fruit in here. So let's see, I have to do some math. You ready? You guys are gonna watch me do mental math. 17 carbs in 30 grams. So that's five G over X times 17 G over 30. 149 divided by 30 is approximately 4.9667. I'm not good at math. <laughs> Wait, okay. I need some paper, one sec. Okay, so I want 10 carbs. So 10 grams over X times, there's 17 grams in 30 grams. Okay, we did it. So if I want about 10 carbs, it's about 17 grams. <laughs> Here's my, here's my math. <laughs> so many people are gonna be like, you're so dumb. Delish. And now I'm gonna figure out how much I'm gonna use of this so that, oh, I didn't add that. Oh, look what this meal just added up to. I'm gonna do it on the scale because I'm gonna measure that um, everything but the bagel stuff, but I'm gonna put all of this in here. First of all, see one issue and I see two issues. While that's heating, I'll just like add in this. So I'm gonna do 31 grams of this. I'm gonna add in some oil, salt, a lot of pepper, I love pepper. I'm gonna do a little more salt. I'm gonna go in with some everything but the bagel seasoning, garlic powder, some crushed red pepper, and some Italian seasoning. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix this all up. I think I need to add like a little, I need to add lemon juice. Like I need, I know it's acidic, but I need to add, Oggs, come here. I need to add it because it's just gonna be really bland without it, I feel. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna massage this. That's basically how I make my salad. This clip's like a million minutes long. So I'll show you the final plated product <laughs> in a few. Here she is. This looks really good. I'm interested to see how the dressing will taste because I haven't done a dressing with that little Greek yogurt style dip. But I feel like it'd be good. It gives, it's giving Kale Caesar vibes, honestly. I'll let you guys know what I think. Also guys, just an FYI, I like almost always, right after I post a video, go on my comments and like like them and comment back to people. So if you guys do ever catch my video right when it posts, that's when I will be most active um, on replying and everything like that. So I'm gonna sit here and do this while I eat. Update, it's 1.38, that salad was so, so good. Wait, guys, I'm like so serious, it's at, like cold. Like I'm not even being dramatic, like not Florida cold, like cold. I have goosebumps, it's the middle of the day. I don't think it got this cold down in South Florida. I, like I'm cold, like I'm not dressed for the weather, I'm freezing. What in the world, like I, I should be in like pants and a sweater. Like, it says it's 64. Oh my god, turn this AC off. It says it's 64. It feels way colder than that. Maybe because I'm not dressed for 64 degree weather. But I found this, like, piercing shop that I'm gonna go to for this whole... Oh, I forgot the... Whatever, I'm sure they'll have one. I don't want that one put back in anyways. I feel like they're gonna have to re-pierce it. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. But, it's like a 20 minute drive. So I think I'm gonna stop and get just like a hot coffee from Starbucks to have and sip on while I drive. Ears are ringing. But, dang, I cannot believe how cold it is. Hi, can I just get a grande hot coffee with a little bit of cream? A grande hot coffee with a little bit of cream, for sure. Anything else I can grab for you? That's all. Hi. 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 Okay, I'm gonna hand this to you because I was gonna ask you a question first. Okay, sure. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Here's your coffee while that's going. Thank you. Do you want your receipt when it's done? No, I'm fine. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks, have a great it's so weird because 
it feels like a vibe we don't normally get here in Florida. Like it feels very November right now. You guys, do you ever like catch yourself doing something and you're like, oh my God, I look like my mother. Because <laughs> I do that, hold on, let me close this. I do that all the time. I was just sitting here at a red light and I was sitting here like this. Oh, you can't see. I have both hands on my cup. And I was just, I had like a That's So Raven moment. And I was like, oh my God, I am I look just like my mother. <laughs> and um, it just makes me feel like an adult. Like it makes me feel so grown. And I remember in Boston, Brie at one point, like looked at herself in the mirror and she was like, I look like my mother. <laughs> It's nothing against our mothers. It's just like weird. Like all like you feel you feel like young and then all of a sudden you're like you look at yourself and you look like your mother. <laughs> and you're like, when did I get to the age where I look like my mom? I don't know. Anyways, my camera's gonna die, but you guys look how cute. I like hate this side of my face, but I think it's so cute. I'm about to have a little snack, just a little cutie and some hazelnuts, and I'm going to record my podcast. I'm finally getting around to also ignore my hair. It is like beyond greasy, but um, I'm finally getting around to doing an episode on like relationship with food, body image, that type of thing. <laughs> most lame thing first. So I take vitamin B12 every day and I leave it out on my counter because like I want to remember to take it but it's in the ugliest little bottle and so I got these or just I'm gonna put it in this so that it like <laughs> looks cute on my counter and like it's not like it's like a hard drug that like people could like get harmed from if they were to like pop one um it's literally b12 so <laughs> next i believe this is a little like tray that i got what in the world why the box just open like that? oh this is really big this might be too big but i got this tray okay i might hate this to i'm just gonna show you guys <laughs> whenever i style it because i actually think i hate that but let me show you what I was thinking. Then I got two of these. They're actually like bedside watercrafts, but um, I'm going to put my mouthwash. Basically I'm giving my bathroom a revamp um, and like getting rid of just all like the like ugly bottles and such that I have because like, I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to put everything under the counter, but I also like want it to look cute. Okay, so here's a before. Everything's just like out and about. Okay, I think this looks a little bit better. I'm not like 100% in love, but it's cute. I have to like play around with the tray and everything, and I actually do like this tray, but my soap and body oil there. Because like I have two things, so, like soap in the middle kind of makes sense, right? And then a candle, Laneige, toothbrush, my mouthwashes. What are you doing? My B12, and then that's my face wash and skincare brush, but I think it looks cute. Okay, I need to make myself some dinner because I have friends coming over later, and I want to eat before you get here. Okay, guys, it's 7.15, and I'm making some dinner, but I'm drinking this Tropical Punch Olipop. Haven't had this flavor before. It's like pretty good. I wouldn't say it tastes like... Well, I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I thought it was gonna taste like, um, what's it called, fruit punch? It doesn't, and I don't love fruit punch. So I'm glad it doesn't taste like that, but my vacuum is literally so dumb. Yum, here's dinner. Super plain, basic dinner, but honestly sounds so good. And my friends are about to be here, so I wanna eat quick, but it looks so yummy. 